My name is Asabo Ignatius. I'm from Delta State, Nigeria. I reside in Benin City, Edo State. I'm a student of Otabo Mwetenka College, Vocational Trade, the auto department. I am an inventor. You can call me Inventor Ignatius, and I'm about to show you my inventions. So this is uh, a, a competition we went at Enugu. That was in 2017. This is a homemade car, structurally built. So this is another car, built as well. This is a car. I call it a car because one of my best, one of my best trainers playing so far. Yeah, the car. And these are newly built. I designed a soccer, the low wing. Smaller size of this particular model that has my my channel written on it as well. So the, the bigger size and this is a soccer. I built this took this took me about two weeks to build as well. Two weeks. Well, no, I have the materials already to make it happen. So this is a trainer, this is a trainer for beginner pilots, and this is a mid-wing. This is a mid-wing expert. This is my quadcopter. A drone, the quadcopter that takes off vertically. And I designed it myself as well. You can see locally made. You can see some locally parts here. You can see. So that is it. And this is the one I'll be test. I'll be test running for you guys to see. This is the master agriculture. Yeah. What is the genesis of everything, of yeah. all this? Yeah, as, it's not as you are seeing it today. I started this when I was eight years old. When I started this, actually, when I started this, it was somehow like a form of play or something. People laugh at me, ah, what are you doing? What are you trying to pick? So I, I picked some things, some parts, some scrap parts from places like well, foam, floater, wood, some kind of electronic stores. I'll be walking around picking up some pieces from there. I will now gather them together, then start doing my, my constructions together. So at first it was not flying. It took me several years of research before it was able to flew out from the ground. I was, uh, I was discouraged by my parents. I was discouraged, because my mom, Mom wanted me to read law, so I said, ah, sure, ah, sure, ah, sure. So I should read law. My mate is, in, is reading law. Why am I doing this, this, this? Sometimes the way they used to treat me in the house was like, why are you doing this when they come home? Instead of, for example, be, uh, I did something wrong at home. I did something wrong to punish me or give, flog me or cane or something. They wouldn't do that. They would rather go to my room where I do my creativity. Hmm? They were the best way to punish me. They would just take one of my 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 stuff my my invention they'll take it is that they burn it or they'll scatter it just to that they know that one will pay me very well so before i relocated to uh to Kuala town so he now moved me from the place that i was doing the work to Kuala. so i know maybe i will not have chance to be doing all those play to all the planes work again or construction work and that took me and put me in a technical school because my elder was talking to him and that he should uh, put me in a technical school that maybe that would help me gain more knowledge but no when i get to technical school it's something different i was even a teacher in the school i was teaching i was teaching students so how long does it take you to build one drone or plane like how long does it take you an estimate time okay if the materials the needed materials is available even dead money, dead machine is available. It could take me not more than, let me say, two weeks in a one five scale model. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, from all you've been saying, you are self um, th um, taught and kind of self sponsored. Did you get any 
form of sponsorship, financial assistance? Yes, yes. At first, you know, doing such a project is not easy at all. It's not easy, especially not being supported by a parent or something, doing something like this. So it was when I started posting on social media, I got attention from friends, uh, which, which helped me um, by maybe donating of some items, some necessary items that, I might, that might be important for me. There was a man called Dino who, who helped me out and got contact with some friends. So, that can help me by donating some items, some necessary items like tools, some other few items that will be very important for me and for my projects. How do you plan to commercialize this or expand what you're doing right now? My plan was to expand this in a very big way in technology in Nigeria here, whereby I'm using drones for farm works. Farm works, farm mapping, and all that. We have two customized models which I designed by myself, which you can't even find in anywhere. That is mainly my own design of, I call it the crop duster, Master, Master Agriculture, and that is my name I gave to the place. The Master Agriculture, the, way, the reason I gave it that name was that the aircraft yeah, is mainly used for irrigation, crop dusting, that is spraying of chemicals, farms, farmlands or so. So that's the main use of the aircraft. And so we can also install camera for surveillance, yeah, land mapping or all that. So we can install camera and install GPS. So we can do all necessary with what a drone can do. David Fisher, this is the model fast build. First of all, you can see all the movements, control movements. So the high level, turn left, yeah, all the rules, that's it. These are brakes, laps. This moving here, up and down, up and down. This for flaps. This elevator, that's the other one moving. That is the elevator, and this is the rudder. This works like normal steering in a motor vehicle, like uh, to steer it left or right, to move left or right, like steering. That is the work of the rudder. So, so this is made of uh, wood, plywood, fiberglass. And um, the skin here is a covering, those plastic covering, you can see. It's a covering. Yeah, so I want to show you something under this model right now that makes it special, a special crop duster. You can see. You can see this, these nozzles for water spraying. You can see that. So, up and down, you see, it's, it's, it's eating now out. You can see that and it's back. So that is what makes it special. Yeah, so if I want to spray now, like I was, I'm in the load, uh, you have a tank here, about two liter tank, which can spray for at least 10 minutes. Yeah, for crop dusting and how that works, you want to do with it. So that is it. I will, I will fuel it now and test it to see how everything goes. Yeah. This fuel is gasoline, normal petrol, but because of the size of the motor, it's a very big motor. So it's running on gas engine, but 5.5 .5 horsepower. Well, it now and go for the flight test. Yeah, it's 
se stata tutta di Angel. As in there, this play guest is there. Fiji. Okay. I don't like this one. contact details my phone number and this is my page name on facebook and all social media tiktok and all that that's it for today we will come again maybe next next time to test run it once more again yeah thank you very much for watching and you can also subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs>